All right, so I prematurely apologize if there's any video, audio, editing, or any sort of issues in this video. As you can see why I'm kind of late, I did just get my new PC and I've been setting it up over the past few days. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought. There's still a lot of little minor tweaks and details to set up to get everything exactly the way it was before. So if anything goes wrong, I apologize. It's gonna be a little bit of a process getting back into my normal schedule, but I'm sure I'll be back and stronger than ever very soon. Thank you guys for your patience over the past week. You guys have been amazing. Let's get into some Attack on Titan. I'm way too excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 26. Uh, last episode, we have a mission to stop the rumbling via Talk No Jutsu with Eren Jaeger. And with that being said, we somewhat came to a collective after a number of arguments. And we're going to use the flying boat from the Azuma Bitos to do what we can with Mikasa and Armin. But in order to do that, we need to go to the port, which is overrun by Jaegerist and the... Uh, Kiyomi, I think her name is. The head Azuma Bito is being held captive by Flock. So we'll see what happens with that. I am very curious. I say we jump right on into it. I cannot wait any longer. Don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to the other shows I'm watching and the full length unedited version of this show and this episode right here, make sure to check out that Patreon. Links are down in the description like always for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Attack on Titan, the final season episodes or episode 26 this one's called traitor let's do this all right it looks like we are spying over the port area block's been pretty on top of it this whole season i can't even lie to you is that the concluded plan all these jaegers have got to go i mean yeah they feel bad about killing other eldians Obviously, Mikasa and her, her relatives. We're still going to have some tensions, some arguments, even to the last fight. Well, I mean, if we're going to use that boat and that boat is an essential part of the plan, it kind of sounds like we have to. The Azumabitos are a, a vital key and a vital part in that, you know? Yeah, that's where it gets a little rough. That's where we get into, like, super optimistic, you know. Okay. Okay. Like when you cornered me? Even back then, Armin was known for his grand plans, but there is none this time. We either wipe him out or don't and lose the boat. Okay. That I can I can agree with. They had it's so it's so deep. I could talk about that for an hour. And now Aaron knowing the whole truth, even looking back at that moment is different, you know, because of now knowing what you know. See. All right, we're gonna let our warriors take care of this. Sadly, yeah. That is also a valid question. That's what the steam is. Can they just walk under the water? Or are they walking... How tall are... They're not that tall, right? Magath has had enough of Yelena's bullshit. Tell us where the Titans are going. Oh... That's it right there. That's a broken arm. That's about as broke as you can get. Uh-huh. I don't know if I trust Yelena. But yes, we do have things we need to do. Magath has a little anger and needs to vent. Which, I don't think I talked about it too much last episode. I talked about it a little bit, but Magath definitely feels a level of regret over his part that he personally and that Marley has played because he has been justifying the actions of Marley to himself by thinking and saying that Marley has been tortured by the hands of Eldians for thousands of years. So what I'm doing is right for the betterment 
of the world. Eldians are torturous devils, right? He firmly believes that. But he knows at the end of the day, no matter what happens, him brainwashing him and him and Marley brainwashing children, making them fight. You know, like he knows that's wrong and he knows what he's done is wrong. So I think that particular point is hitting him pretty damn hard. He's been able to justify it to himself, everything else. But that he can't justify. That's what I feel like. That's why I feel like Gabby is his kryptonite right now. Wow. I get you, Magath. I get you. It's a little weird him saying this immediately after breaking and almost choking out Yelena. But they're not Eldians, you know? He's starting to, yeah, some character development. I hope that's genuine and sincere. I feel like it is, and I hope it is. And he's going to apologize to them, too. I agree with you there. I fr we have to remember it, but and teach it to future generations. T so hopefully, we cannot redo history. You know, Magath is coming around. I've always liked Magath as like an enemy. You like your enemy, kind of. You know, you like the villain kind of perspective. But I respect it. I respect it. They have their part they played in this as well. They have their part they need to clean up. They have their part, their responsibility they need to do. Oh my god, look at that water. That is gorgeous. This is Flock, yep. Damn. Damn. Oh, wow. What are you saying? <laughs> yes. She's not lying there. If Flock thinks this is the end of all fights and their days are living happy and peaceful after this, he is very wrong. Man, him with that pistol. He loves that pistol. Damn. It's important to know one's place. He's like, we'll use you if you're if you work with us, but if you don't, we are not afraid to get rid of you. Mm. This is so shady and suspect. Are they gonna? There, I don't think Flock would agree with that. Obviously. So their plan to stall and get the ship ready to be used. Oh, they are. I didn't know that. I thought that was just like a belt to keep it secure. I didn't know that was dynamite. Yeah, I could see if that was the rumors you heard that I would be a little hesitant. Now, what do you guys say to that? And they just want everything to be good, you know? Yeah. They just want to... They're, they're the same as Armin and Connie. They just want everything. You guys are with us, right? Armin and Costa are like, you guys are with us, right? Like, we're good, right? We're good, yeah. Even though they both know they're lying. I don't know what I would have done if you guys were traitors. Yeah, just take that off, man. We're good. You're good. We're good. At least Flock isn't panicking. He's thinking about this rationally, which is smart in this situation. You don't want to panic. Oh, okay. Kiyomi? I won't go down without a fight. Respectable as Mikasa, distant relative, comes in to protect her. Oh no, oh, just when I thought Flock might have died, no. Damn. Damn. Oh, they're not hesitating at all, they're blowing the shit up like crazy. No choice but to wipe out our old comrades, old cadets. Why is this shit going way too hard? 
What is he gonna start reconnecting the fuse? Oh my god. The only reason I'm not absolutely jumping up and crying right now is because the fucking army is colossal. He can transform and save himself, but then Connie's gonna die. Everything's gonna blow up. What the fuck is gonna happen? Can he revive? It's so hard to decide who's betrayed who, you know, man. This is so tense. Obviously, each fully believe their perspective is right and justified. That's what makes it difficult. Ooh, I love the 3D shots in the show. Yeah, they're like, he's like, what, why would they hold themselves up? What does that mean? Uh-oh, unless they have some overwhelming offensive force that's coming out in the middle of the fight. Look at these 3D shots. And he looks fucking... Oh my god, both of them in the background right on vlog. Please die! Please die! The female titan back in action. Oh my lord, have I missed you. <laughs> oh my god, is this reminisce season one? That's the Annie special, the squish and throw, squish and throw. The scouts aren't as used as they were in season one, though. We do have thunder spears, but that ain't gonna do nothing against an Annie kick. And it's good. Okay, Armin with a gunshot in his, I assume, heart, mouth, out his cheek. Episodes called traitors. It's all subjective, right? We're thinking the same thing. Why would you, you know? Right? It's all subjective. That's the beauty of that, the poeticness of this title. Traitor. Like, Daz, are you gonna kill Armin? An old friend? Point blank in the head? When you know he's just doing what he believes is right? Oh, you can tell Connie is so upset that he has to do this. He's screaming, you are our friends while he has to do this. I feel so bad. That's why Armin said I'm not gonna go into this with clean hands, especially thinking of Berthold and his memories, you know? Bro, it's so- oh my god, that's where it ends? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so rough. <sighs> Talk about more psychological trauma. Talk about more just straight balls to the wall action. Talk about wrapping everything up. Talk about character development, plans. De it's just- it's so crazy. And we haven't seen Aaron in what it feels like episodes. I know we only have a couple more episodes left, right? Like, I think some of you guys have told me that maybe there's rumors going on and there's going to be a movie to finish off it. Because I, I don't know how they would wrap this up in a few more episodes. I really have no idea. But throughout this episode, I loved Maggot's character development. Like, he definitely still has his flaws and his issues, but him accepting the part he played in this is a big step, you know, and, and trying to say, hey, you know, let us handle this. And, you know, I mean, you know... All that, all well done. You know, Reiner, Annie, them talking about, is this what we're going to do? Is this what we have to do? Can we do this? You know, is it okay to do this? You know, Yelena's new resolve to see this through to the end to find out what happens. All crazy. Ki I think her name's Kiyomi. I didn't really confirm. They never said it. But the head, Azuma Bito, her fighting back flock without, you know, like her going down with a fight. I respect it. She's a savage. And then Mikasa so poetic to come and save her and the rest of the Azuma Bito at least as much as they could. But I think easily the most heart-wrenching, intense part of this episode was Daz and Samuel, Connie, and Armin. Like, it literally felt like Among Us, with except real life at the end there, with your friends, you know? Like, both of them at that point knew the odds of them actually, the odds of this plan actually working, you know, are like so slim to none. And then Daz and Samuel were like, the odds of them actually wanting you know like we had heard rumors of you guys betraying us but now you're here and you want to do this weird super shady thing i mean you guys you guys are cool right you're on our side yeah 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 you know it's like it, they both just liked each other so much that they wanted each other to be on each other's side it's such a shame it's uh it's like god damn you know it's like it's a very weird reference but i really thought of the walking dead when it happened uh not a huge spoiler but there's a character a part of our main group who gets split off, who gets like accidentally split off from our group, ends up with another group who's beefing with our group, but they don't realize that group is beefing with our group until like it comes to a conclusion. And they're like, holy shit. And they have to make a decision. Like, do I work, you know, and it's like very tough. And it's like, 
they both you know it's like this one's even worse because they both believe they're doing what's right for the it's hard it's rough but i just love this show they do not they do not hold back they do not fucking slow down they send it full fire full send oh i love this show if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to go subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel much appreciated y'all i will catch you in the next episode don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them be safe out there peace